Hi everyone, welcome back to these series of project management, a key concepts from the project management body of knowledge. And we're delving into the second part of cost forecasting methods, where we looked at just briefly, we looked at all of the different ones. So estimate complete, estimate at completion, we looked at in detail because there's many different ways to, to calculate that one. And now we're going to look at the estimate to complete, variance at completion and to complete performance index. Now, just a quick refresher, the first one for the estimate completion, this will feed into our other calculations. And this is the easiest one to calculate. So we're going to use this one. Now you might use these other ones um, in your project management career, in your project, and potentially on the exam, it might come up, but it will be more, usually it'll be more a question around which ones of these that you will use under certain circumstances. If the CPI remains the same, if the, oh, if the CPI influences the remaining work, if the CPI or, or SPI, schedule performance index or cost performance index influence the remaining work, you'd use this one, for example. But for our purposes, we're using this very simple, uh, simple one. So we've got the actual cost of 5,000 plus the, the budget of completion, 10,000, uh, minus the uh, earned value, which is what we've completed so far, 30% of 10,000, 3,000. So that's uh, 7,000 in total, plus the 5,000 equals $12,000. So that's what we're going to use as our estimate at completion for this particular example. So we're up to the estimate to complete. This is the expected cost to finish all the remaining uh, project work. And it equals our estimate at completion, which we said we've got 12,000 minus our actual cost so far, which is 5,000. So this one is nice and easy. It's $7,000. 12,000 minus 5,000, $7,000 for this particular example, estimate to complete. Variance at completion is the estimated difference in cost at the completion of our project. So variance at completion is the budget at completion, which is our $10,000 budget at completion, minus our estimate at completion. So we said that was our $12,000. So we've got our 10,000 minus 12,000 estimate at completion equals minus 2000. So our variance, we're going to be behind. It's negative. So we're behind in our cost, behind in our schedule. Um, and But if we were positive, then we'd be ahead of schedule. We would have delivered more value than we wanted. So for our purposes, if it's negative, we're behind. We're not doing that well. Uh, if it's positive, we're doing well. To the two complete performance index, TCPI, this is the efficiency that must be maintained in order to complete your project as planned. And it comes up as a, uh, basically as a, as a 1.4, 1.2 or one. Um, if it's more than one, it's harder to complete. If it's less than one, it's gonna be easier to complete for us. To figure it out, it's not too hard. Two complete performance index is the budget of completion minus earned value earned value being what we've earned so far, what we've completed. So $10,000 minus 3,000 is seven. Uh, and against the, uh, divided by the, the budget of completion minus the actual cost. So 10 minus five, 5,000 is our actual cost, what we've spent so far. And uh, so that equals five. So seven divided by five equals 1.4. So it's because we're behind, it's going to be harder for us to complete it's, uh, it's above one, it's gonna be harder for us to complete. And that's the two complete performance index. And those are the remaining cost forecasting techniques that you will see on your PMP exam. And also a few little tricks on how to handle potential exam questions as you come across them.